Yo, what's up? This is Kosky. Yo, what's up? This is Kosky. A fun day back at it once again, kicking it for you open yours. And this is part two of the science and technology in, in Islamic Spain. You know, um, this one, uh, if you have seen part one, part one's a pretty long video where we actually name the male and the female more sciences of, of Islamic Spain. You know, scientists, educators, you know, the women ran the libraries. They did the prints and all that stuff like that. So it was always equality. It was judge ships too up in there. It was always equality amongst African people, black African people. You know what I mean? So we're going to keep it going with the technology in Islamic Spain. The list above give ample evidence of the fact that Muslim scholars in Spain were great scientists, physicists, astronomers, mathematics, and geographers. A large number of them devoted their lives to scholarly pursuits in the adverse circumstances. As science and technology go hand in hand, we will now give a general overview of the development of technology in Andalusia. During the Middle Ages, technology flowed from far off countries to China, India, and Persia to Europe through Islamic countries. For example, paper was first manufactured in Samarkand. It was later brought to Islamic Spain in the 10th century. And the Lusa was good for making scales and weights. Hence, these were exported to Morocco. France was completely dependent on Islamic Spain for tactiles, both styles and techniques. Water surges spurs the difference diffusion of hydraulic devices. Water was brought in lead pipes from the mountains to be distributed in the cities. Spanish Muslims love water. Every mansion was equipped with running water and fountains. Let me say this again. No, this is a sidebar. I'm going to repeat. We're in the 10th century, right? In the 10th century, we already had water running from lead pipes from the mountains to be distributed in the cities. Every mansion was equipped with running water and fountains. Think about that. We already had one of water going to houses, a sewer system and an irrigation system. Abdul Rahman III constructed a scientifically designed aqueduct in 940 over the arches of the river Guinevere. Water was then conveyed with pipes to the waterworks in Cordoba. In agriculture, Muslims introduced a scientific method of irrigation. Production of olive oil increased to such a degree that Europeans adopted Arab technology for the most of the instruments used. Amazira, oil press, our Mazaran, Afijin grinding stone, and Analusa oil can, Chantel olive oil. Crystal was developed in the glass shops of Cordova. Glass vessels were blown in Macula, Muslim, and Amaria. There was a flourishing gas industry also in Barcelona. Glass of Damascus referred to a Syrian style immigrant glass. Barcelona, Bacientia was the home of exquisite pottery. Jalen was noted for his gold and silver, mines of gold and silver. Cordova for iron and lead, Magdala for mines of rubies, Toledo for swords. There were 3,000 villages devoted to wearing silk worms. Seville was a center of silk weaving. European paper mills was first established in Islamic Spain. They were Muslim with the last name al Warak, the paper maker. Paper was made from flax fibers, old scrap clothes, soaked in quick lime, washed, pounded, and dried into molds. At one time, gathering rags for the paper industry was a profession. Javativa, a Shababdan, was the first century, first center of this industry in Spain and Europe. Its product was called the Shababin. During the 13th century, paper was exported to Sicily from the cities of Barcelona and Valencia. A mechanical printing was the reason for widespread dissemination of knowledge in Europe, thanks largely to this industry in Islamic Spain. Let me read this again. As you know, white people in, in so-called history, where they gang, but they try to get a printing press to Gutenberg. You know what I'm saying? Mechanical printing was the reason for widespread dissemination of knowledge in Europe. 
thanks largely to the industry in Islamic Spain. Bloomberg didn't make the printing press. We did. In Islamic Spain, we had the printing press. We made that way back when. And I can verify that by a whole bunch of European scholars. But when you get to school over here, it's not taught that. It's taught that Gutenberg made it to print and press and print and press the Bible, which is false. And this is during the 13th century, all right? You know what I'm saying? Paper was one of the most, back to, back to the story. Paper was one of the best contributions of Islamic Spain to Europe. Paper mills came to France via Spain. The English word ring is derived from the Arabic rosima, a bundle. Textile was another industry in which Islamic Spain made a lasting impact on Europe. Four cities of Magdala Armia was famous for producing tarazi or brocade, silk cloth, and bread with Arabic leather. Tazal was a state-sponsored industry ran by a trained weavers, trained school called Da Our Tas. The last material was used for making costumes of military commanders, officials, and caliphas. After shining cloth and amount of fabric was also used in large quantities. Atabia was a silk cotton fabric made at a distinct district in Baghdad where it originated. It was popular in European shops by the trade name Tabas. Dresses, dress fabric from Granada was also known as grenadines in European markets. Tammy techniques produce a number of soft leathers in Spain. The corbang was a vegetable tennis goat skin. Ivory was carved in Casilla in many other towns. Ivory painted in the Arabic description were produced in many cities. In the 10th century, a school of ivory carvers center in Cordova was working in the style of a mature experience. A must example of their work is the Senegal Castrate made for Caliph al Rahim II in 964 at display at the Mazum Arrogato in Madrid. Pottery was manufactured for popes, cardinals, and rich families of Portugal, France, and Italy. Valencia was a center of painted drug jars. Spanish luster poetry inspired Italian potters in the 16th century. The terminology for net fishing is laced with Arabic words, Alpha Jaffe, drag net, Abahama, tuna trap, and Akakata, conical net, and Jagaha, pure scenes, and Jabbegana, pocket scenes. Clocks were used in many forms. Sundials were used at the table of declination of the sun. A classic drama was a water clock in which water flowed regularly, was regularly by a siphon. A mercury clock was used in the astrolabe for dials. Mercury flowed compartmentally, compartmentally to compartment, keeping in perpetual motion. The astrolab dial rotated once every 24 hours. Water clocks were built in Toledo by Al Asagar Kali. Astrolab, a computer. A astrolab was an astronomical instrument made of brass. It served as all sorts of computer for nearly a thousand years. It provided data for calculating attitude, determining time, surveying, nautical observation, and the casting of horoscopes. Muslims' interest in this instrument was immense due to the fact that they could determine an hour of a canonical prayer. Direction of Mecca, beginning of the new months, was introduced in Europe in the 10th century by Gilbert, later Pope Sylvester II, 999, 9, 9, 999 year, the year, who learned to use it during the sojourn in Cabova. It was used in Europe until the 16th century for nautical observation. Every astronomer, whether Jewish, Christian, or Muslim, used it. How to use manuals were written in Arabic, Hebrew, and Latin. The early such manual was written by a marshal in Iraq around 800 AD. In Andalus, Hasba Abed Ashun obtained Marshall's treaty on astrolabs. It became the base of all future treaties. Mashima Amarizi 
wrote a treaty that was translated by Jonathan Bill in the 12th century. Here is an astrolabe at Accra Museum, it is from 984 AD, made by Muhammad Abed Abraham of Israel and Iran. The astrolabe used by the saucer can be seen at Merton College Library in Oxford. One made by Abraham Abed in Toledo in 1066 can be seen at Victorian Albert Museum, London. One made by a Muslim instrument maker of Alicia is at the Smithsonian Institution and the National Museum of American History, Independence Ave, Washington, USA. The description of Ashri Astrolab made by Azakari is widely read in the 13th century in Castilla. Portuguese explorer, Basso da Gama ships were outfitted with astrolabs designed by a Spanish astronomer. Astronomical tables were used to find eclipses, planetary motions, and trigonometric functions. Islamic Spain is best remembered for the Todian tables produced by Al Zakari Al Zarab Kelly. Christopher Columbus, 1446 to 1506, created a copy of the astronomical tables prepared by Abraham Zucco, 1452 to 1515, during the voyage of the New World. Columbus fully expected to land in Italy, which he knew was ruled by Muslims. Since on his first voyage to America, he took with him Luis de Toro, an Arabic-speaking Spaniard, as his interpreter. In a nutshell, the murders of modern science in Europe owes a great deal to the advancement of science in Islamic Spain. And there you have it. Now, when we get um, to the Astro Lab, uh, Columbus knew where he was going. I don't believe the part that when he says Columbia fully expected to land in India. I believe they already knew, and I proved in this, this paper right here, that they took, they already been to the New World already, not Columbus, but, but the, the Moors in Spain and stuff like that. You know, and this astrolab also proved it too. They knew where they was going, where they was headed to. He took, like he said before, he took a, um, Luis de Torres, an Arab speaking Spaniard, and he also took somebody else that spoke an African language with him. You know what I'm saying? So that's how back and forth they was communicating with the so-called Native Americans and stuff like that. You know, because they already been there before, had established some type of trade language. You know, this is a uh, this has been established. If you don't believe me, this has been established on Columbus' third voyage. If you read the things about his third voyage, you know, Africans is why he was leaving the Spain or leaving out of sent or the places that he visited, you know what I'm saying, in the so-called New World. <laughs> We seen people coming back over here to visit again. So, you know, it always been continuing over here in the new world. You know, so that's other observations. And they've been new about it. Anyway, that's the finishing up a little quick part two to it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get to some more, more history over in um, black Europe. You know what I'm saying? Cause this gotta be told. You know, we don't tell it, we gonna, you know, we gonna tell the babies who gonna tell each other, you know what I'm saying? So subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. We're gonna do some more. We're gonna do more in Sicily when we also when we have Sicily. We're gonna do more in Switzerland when we have Switzerland. You know, all the archaeological evidence and all the stuff that we hear from us is being told. And we're gonna do more in um southern France. You know. Anyway, peace. Hit the like channel. Like I said, donate to the movement. I got a cash app. Donate to the movement. Akoski. Peace, hotep, and enjoy.